Cincinnati against number one Miami. The kickoff is next. Well, he will have the football first. And then Sokolow will kick off for Cincinnati and back deep to receive is Miami and they bring the football out to the right side at the 25 yard line a terrific comeback and Miami has the football in outstanding field position and he goes to the air immediately a deep drop it's complete to Williams and he is back down at the 42 yard line that's a great way to mix it up to start the game Highsmith is the best blocker. Williams had a marvelous game against UC last year. And Roberts, the big tight end. Uh, they've got an outstanding young receiver as well in Michael Irvin. Irvin and Maddox, uh, two new people on that offensive line. This is second down. Miami needs three and a half. Williams slides forward. A flag will fly. Of, uh, <laughs> an inspirational start, certainly. And Testaverde heard all about him he has 15 touchdown passes this year and has this one complete for another first down this is a look sellers is their best pass on the play by john sawyer that front four is uh, uh doesn't have a lot of playing experience but they're a bunch of uh, scrappers and they'll play it tough the whole game alex gordon the best defensive man on the team and of course richard rose probably the best man in the secondary gordon will be a first round draft choice the strength of the team is certainly their line back and forth so it's another first down for the hurricane and this time it is heisman inside the five yard line to the four tester Verde from near the five play action pass and it's a touchdown very quickly out of the backfield, Warren Williams, and Miami is on the scoreboard immediately. Well, this is vintage Miami Hurricane football. It is a 6-0 ball game, and it is now 7-0. Miami has the lead here at Nippert Stadium in Cincinnati. 7-0 our score in the first minute 15. We still have 13.46 to go in this first quarter play, and it's share of those chores this year. But Selig tonight will be handling the kickoffs and Cox some of the placements. And it will go out of bounds, a five-yard penalty. After the five-yard penalty because he kicked it out of bounds the first time. The run up the boot. It will be Al McKinney from the five. As the sideline bumped out of bounds near the 27. Taylor's the best running back, but he's been hurt. Yeah, he's been hurt, played very little against Penn State last week. Uh, they say he's about 80, 90 percent, uh, but he's he's an excellent runner. Joe Height is a first down from the 26-yard line. McCoy wants to throw right away, and it's to Reggie Taylor. He can scoop near a first down out of bounds with a 33. Pat Lavelle in the middle. The young man has moved from the outside to the inside. Two yards for the first down on second down. In motion is Leonard Cry. And McCoy wants to throw again. He's going deep, and it is incomplete at the 40-yard line. That's Penn State last week going through two long passes. Third down and two, and McCoy in trouble. Dumps it off, incomplete. Punning situation. The man applying the pressure. He took over for Derwin Jones, who was injured two weeks ago. And Miami blocks the punt, picks it up, and they will run it in for the touchdown. The Hurricane. Now this is looking a lot like West Virginia. The Hurricane, just an overpowering outlet, blocked the punt, take it in for the six point. In the country, and many people have been saying they have a clear pass to be number one because they do not have a rough schedule the rest of the way. Well, the Hurricane up by 14 nothing, and just two minutes gone in this ball game. We'll be right back after these words from our local station. This is the Raycom Sports Network team in the country take a shot at the miami bench i think maybe we better brush up on some of those some, some of those guys on the sidelines <laughs> the way things look right now everybody's going to get the play bubba mcdowell blocking the punt taking it back for a touchdown It'll be the first time in their history they've won their first seven games reggie taylor up the middle 
tries to shoot by a couple games maybe two three yards and uh you know now you wonder do we you know do we run the ball do we get back to our game plan do we have to open it up uh I don't know what the answer is. Uh, we'll see what decision the Cincinnati coaches make. There's a look at the defensive secondary. Benny Blades, they tell me, is simply outstanding. He leads the nation in interceptions with six. A pass incomplete. Uh, and not catching on any opportunities like that in, a, in an overmatch situation. From the 29. And flag go flying. Illegal procedure. Offense. And from the fourth family, he had us with uh, the football team and... Uh, go to work and put, help put food on the, on the table. They gave him a scholarship anyway, and the guy's a great player. Well, here's McCoy on third and long. Completes the pass for the first down. That is Jason Stargill, and he is the big play man for UC. Barely had the edge on Don Ellis, who had to come back to make the tackle. Reggie Taylor spins for about five. At second and five, 11.39 to play in this first quarter, and it's 14-0 Hurricane. In motion to the bottom of your screen, Jason Stargo. Taylor again. This time he is hit and knocked back. Uh, good defensive play. In the 41-yard line now. You see needs four. Roosevelt Mute has the four and a little more. Inside the 35 to the 33 this year. Heiss and Stargo are the starters. Taylor, a big hole. And he skips inside the 20-yard line to the 19. Another Cincinnati first down. Time now for that Miami defense to bolster up. Showing a blitz. Now backing off is Rod Carter. Now he's coming again. He is picked up. McCoy with an excellent job of scrambling. Complete inside the 10-yard line. Greg Latham looked like Kenny Stabler going right-handed. Al McKinney oh. up the middle. Great job defensively of Cincinnati. Watching his Bearcats on a drive that started at their own 26-yard line from the three. Second and goal. McCoy incomplete. Intended for Roosevelt. Leonard Pye goes in motion. Yeah, I got the flip coming. McCoy has the time. Now throws incomplete out of the end zone two people in the uh, deep left corner uh, it's too difficult to tell from that angle the field goal is up by Encelaca and good and it cuts the lead to 11 by Miami it's a 14-3 Miami lead we'll be back after this it was a one receiver pattern it was well covered, and they really had no option set up for themselves. In Salaka, with the boot deep to Penny. From the three. Cut down at the 14-yard line. Uh, knows how to get away from the rush, and they'll get a workout trying to run him down. Yes, Verde will hand off this time to Alonzo Highsmith, and that's Alex Gordon. That's the young man we were talking about earlier. They may try it this time. They need 11. They lost a yard of the last play. It's second down. No blitz. Now Testaverde steps up in the pocket. Great, Dumped great. It, off it will be a fourth down. I, I would say he has much with his team. This one is almost blocked. Fair catch by Steve Looney. Those are the first points Miami has given up in the first quarter since the Maryland game of 1985. Dave Curry is the head coach of UC, and right now he's hoping that man, Danny McCoy, can get things going. McCoy runs out of bounds, but in the late 70s, early 80s. Plays Howard Schnellenberger a couple of seasons ago. Went to the USFL. McCoy wants to throw again, and is he in trouble again? Dumps it off to Taylor, throws it over his head, and Taylor almost makes a great catch. And then is spun down, and then he soccer style it out of bounds. So it's third down and 10. Billy Davis, the backup quarterback, is in the game and in motion. A coin scrambles away, fumbles uh -oh, the football. That's a fumble. Picked up by Miami. Will they give it to them? It should be a fumble. It has to be going forward. It is Miami's football. The Hurricanes have it. So Chester Booty back in action. Wants to throw right away. Oh, what a five. Great catch and inside the 10-yard line. 
I'll tell you what, when there's a turnover, they just Miami just comes right after you. Benny had proved himself to the entire nation a couple of weeks ago against Oklahoma and last year when he was fifth in the Heisman Trophy ballot. Around the left side, Warren Williams is bumped out of bounds near the two-yard line. And the way he seems to just control the, the game out there. But he has those physical tools. No question about that. Alonzo Highsmith trying to bust in. He does. It's a Miami touchdown. Alonzo Highsmith. And the Hurricanes lead Cincinnati 20-3. to And the point after is good. And Miami increases the lead to 18. It's 21 to 3 with 6.30 to play in the first quarter. The game's the ball to Miami right there at about Cincinnati's 30. And uh, it's hurt them twice. 21 to 3. McKinney from the 6. Woo! 20 and then blasted down. Now well, Cincinnati must have a big edge in time of possession, but <laughs> <laughs> that's about where it ends. Three interceptions returned for touchdowns. They've had a couple punts blocked and I heard him again here uh, tonight. Taylor again, and he nears the first down. They'll split their backfield, go at the pro set, and Taylor will try it, and he'll get the first down. It worked. 36 yards for a young man who needs just about 60 to go over 700 yards rushing on the year. The fullback takes this one, and he said Danny spent more time watching me on the sideline and getting the signals than he does talking to the troops in the huddle. For McCoy, going for it at the 50-yard line. For McCoy now 4 for 11 on the evening. Faces the big third down and seven. Mukes in motion. Rushes on again. Passes complete to Mukes, and he has the first down. Cilio, he'll stay in the game. McCorn with the sneak, I believe he has it. And uh, it worked. Taylor spinning inside for a couple past midfield. Well, yeah, Jerome Brown, I mean, that's a big loss. He might be the best defensive lineman in the country. He proved that last week oh. against West Virginia. Taylor wrapped up back at the 49-yard line. Strongest on the Miami football team. So from the 45, We'll try it again. Dumps it off. Try is in trouble. He breaks one tackle, then fumbles the football. UC recovers as McCoy falls on it. It looked like a screen. We have a holding. And there have been very few this year that have returned with many. But the first time he punted the football, well, it was blocked and returned for a touchdown. This time, Kim Tai will take it and race up the right sideline and be hit out of bounds. Testaverde. From the 39-yard line, Warren Williams, left side, busted down by UC. Estaverde needs seven for the first down. A minute 43 to play in the first quarter. Pass is complete to Perriman, out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Williams will try the right side. Stacked up by Alex Gord, but breaks the tackle, it breaks free, and is near another first down. Well, that Greg Ricosi is a great offensive center, maybe the best in the nation. Testaverde to throw. As the time now goes down, it looks like he stumbled on his own mat. So Testaverde needs nine now, with 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Deep drop. Complete for the first down at the 30-yard line. Perriman again. That's the end of the first quarter, and we'll be right back after these words from our local station. This is the Raycom Sports Network. For a first down to Brett Perriman. The opening moments of the second quarter. Incomplete, seven of nine. That sent Miami on their way to a 28-16 victory over Oklahoma. Williams breaks a tackle, but cannot get by that man. 114 to 95, but no, the score is 21 to 3, and it might be more. Third and 11, Testaverde scrambles out of the pocket. Now he's going to run. And he may have the first down. He's to the 16, an extra two yards past the first down. Miami back on offense. Testaverde looking to the end zone. Look at the time he has. Oh! Touchdown! <laughs> Michael Irvin, his eighth of the year. 
play. You get that kind of time. Neither you or I look good as a receiver. Yeah. Well, he has the second touchdown pass of the night, and he has given Miami a 28 to 3 lead now on the University of Cincinnati. We have 1353 to play, and this is the first half. Passes, but two of three in third down conversion. And that has been a difference in two of those touchdown drives. McKinney will take it the ball. They got to work on that. They just don't control the they just don't control the ball offensively. <laughs> McCoy on first down completes the pass. 25, 30, first down for Taylor. He stopped at the 35. Boy, and Taylor that time made a great move for from a couple of weeks ago and just played a, a tough game against Penn State, did not have the kind of Open. Taylor numbers. Broken up by Miami. They strictly went for it all in that play. There were only two, two uh, uh, receivers in the pattern, both running streaks. Taylor tries the middle, written down, loss of five, and that's Dan Stubb. That's a little, responsibility. a little bit of a mismatch there, don't you think? <laughs> Third and 15. Stubbs in again. Completes the pass. First down. It's 28 to 3 with 12.27 to go in this first half. And Scott Tackett tries the middle and is ridden down. Mukes and Stargo wide to the left side. Taylor on the sweep. First down to the 25. Out of bounds. Inside the 25 near the 21. Last year, Taylor ran for 56 yards. In that 38 nothing loss, he's beginning to run a little better here. This is Al McKinney. He's a sophomore, and he dives ahead. He'll be the starter when Taylor leaves next year. Taylor the senior, McKinney the sophomore. McCoy wants to go to McKinney again. Left side That's sweet. Out of bounds, but has the first down. Danny McCoy trying to... Gets the UC Bearcats into the end zone by way of the touchdown for the first time of the game. Reggie Taylor knocks his way near the three. Stats from a year ago when he gained 56 yards against Miami. Taylor left this time. He tries to cut inside, hurdles to the one, but stops shy there. Taylor stays in, packets the fullback right in front of him. Taylor again. UC, touchdown. Davis to hold. The point after touchdown is no good, but there's a flag and a whistle well before the snap. This time he nails it. And it is 28 to 10. Miami leading the University of Cincinnati. And we'll be right back after these words from our local station. This is the Raycom Sports Network. And Taylor was the man who was inspirational leading UC on that particular touchdown drive. It goes into the end zone. It will be a... You know, they're in this ball game. Good defensive stand, a quick touchdown, and 28-17. Alonzo Highsmith finds an opening. Powers pass plenty. And from uh -oh. the football, UC has it. Steve Brody, you were talking about turnovers. Usually plays the free side, but because of injuries, they have moved them to that strong side. Dazzle, dazzle by Cincinnati. He went coin going deep. And it's broken up. Beautiful play by Benny Blades. And Blades went down, but he's a backup, and that is good news. Well, actually, Reggie it. Taylor tries the middle. Nothing there. Down he goes. Football at the 38. McCoy back to the air. As the time, now it's closing up. Completes the throw. First down, Joe Heist. Maybe it looked a little bit worse than it actually was. It's a first down. A point in trouble, and will be sacked. And it is a terrible loss. He was going down. He was looking to get rid of it. But Mark had him uh, had such a tight grip on him, he couldn't even throw the ball. Jump off to Taylor. Takes that one man and dives ahead to the 31. In passing offense, averaging 280 yards per game. Back to the air they go. McCoy throws it, completes it to Stargo. Dives ahead. His longest this year is 39. The kick is up. It is long enough. And it is good. And 
Cincinnati has closed to within 15 of the University of Miami. It's a 28-13 football game. Jimmy Johnson showing a little bit more concern than he had at the start of this ball game. A line drive low kick that is bobbled at the seven. J.C. Penny finally breaks out of there and is stopped. Testaverde has two touchdown passes in the game. Wings the ball left. Michael Irvin on the catch. He's near the first down at the 30-yard line. He needs one more. So himself between the two tackles. He fell forward for an extra four yards. We're looking at second and two now. Big difference. And Highsmith will get that first down. He's pushed back, but let's see if they mark it to the 32-yard line. Really, their best breakaway back is Mel Bratt, number five. But again, Warren Williams has started, I believe, started more ball games than anybody in that offensive backfield. They also have Darrell Oliver. They've got Cleveland Gary, J.C. Penny. Heavy of town. Highsmith with the catch and with the nice run. And up by the 50-yard line. In. So it's a first and 10 at the 49. Testaverde to Highsmith. Big hole. He's off the right side, inside the 35 to the 31. Better the quarterback to all Americans. We don't have too many bad exchanges. Testaverde has not in this football game. And Highsmith wants it again and just breaks another tackle, spins forward. The Kings need three. This time it's Williams. He'll find those three yards the hard way. About a half a yard. Two minutes, 40 seconds to play in this first half, 28 to 13. Miami has the lead. Highsmith will get the first down. It's a fourth down. That will mean Mark Seelig will be called on. David Kintai will hold. Seelig this year, five of eight. Kick is up. And it is wide to the left side. And a concerned Dan Cilio watching from the sideline. Reggie Taylor tries for a couple. Not much there. McCoin looking long down the middle. Completes the pass, but the flag is down as Heist is cut down at the 40. Upping. And there it is against UC. Could very well see a draw or a simple run. Second and 23. McCoin's going for it and is sacked. He'll lose two more. Four man front. No blitz. We'll dump off to Taylor. He gets it back to the 21, but still about 12 yards shy of a first down. Yard line. Gets it off. Oh, what a punt. Kintai, 34 yard line. Almost ran into his own man, but gets a fine return outside left. Plenty of time. Again. Completes the pass to Irvin out of bounds. They say he held on to it. He did a little juggle, and uh, that's what good pass protection will do for you. Clock is running down. 23 seconds. Testaverde completes the pass. Perriman cut down at the 17-yard line. They'll move the chains and then start the clock right away. Testaverde has his troops down. Drops back to throw. Clock is running. Incomplete in the end zone. Intended for Irvin. Not bad. Touchdown. Oh, broken up. Irvin held on to it momentarily. Look at that. Now, maybe Gordon had a hand in there. It was kind of difficult to tell. Alex Gordon for the field goal try is up. And it is good by Greg Cox. And the lead is 31-13. to 13. Miami over UC. Almost looked like another Miami. touchdown pass by Vinny Testaverde, but he was cut down by Alex Gordon. And Miami leading 31-13 over Cincinnati. We'll be right back after these words from our local station. This is the Raycom Sports Network. 31-13. The advantage is 18 for the Hurricanes. McKinney. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right at the 16-yard line. The point is really upset at the official for not placing the football down right away. Well, in a change, uh, in a situation like that, the official has to stop play and give the other team a chance to get their, get their team on the field. How about a fired up George Myra Jr.? He really comes at you. Stargle in motion to the top of your screen, number 24. 
Taylor again tries for the first down and will get it and more. He accelerates through the hole. He's 30 yards past what he did against Miami last year when he gained just 56 yards. And certainly they played very well in stretches here tonight. Second and five. McCoyne in trouble and how? Boy, is he ridden down. Great defensive play by Greg Mark. It was looked like number 74, the center, who was over there picking up uh, the defensive end. Pat Lavelle. McCoyne in trouble again. And will be sacked again. A flag is down for his third. Holding. Offense. Through outstanding coverage. Burdick must get it off quickly and does. Hangs it high. Kintai lets it go, and it takes a bad bounce. The number's outstanding. Alonzo Highsmith cannot get away from Gerald Ware. Right. Blitz from the outside. Pass is complete. Highsmith leans forward. Miami needs two. Testaverde, time again. Did he complete it or was it trapped? They're saying it's a complete pass. And make sure it was a first down, and he did. The blitz is on. Testaverde breaks three. And he's strong. The shuttle pass incomplete. Warren Williams intact and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. Complete to Irvin. Knocked out of bounds by John Sawyer. With the way Vinny Testaverde has driven on this particular occasion, has made life difficult for Cincinnati. The pass is complete to Irvin for the first time. You know, your confidence is just taken very easily by this Miami offense. Irvin's out of the game, but another dandy comes back in, and Testaverde throws the pass incomplete. Never really gets concerned about the blitzing linebackers like one that time. Warren Williams weaving his way inside the 30-yard line. Miami for Johnson. Testaverde needs five on third down. Incomplete. Just Cox with the boot. It is wide to the right side. And the margin continues. UC has the football back after... Greg Cox just missed the field goal. McCoy looping past to Reggie Taylor. Oh, what a tackle. Well, on that time, Reggie would have been... Uh, that's not a bad night for Dan McCoy. But just the 13 points, and that's 18 shy of Miami. It's Al McKinney. Dave Curry says Danny McCoy goes to his secondary receivers as well as anyone. Let's see if he does here. Nope. First down, and that is Latham, and he has the catch. And the first down. Excellent route and executed perfect. So this time from the 46 and a half yard line. McKinney has a hole and open. Nears the first down. Does he have it? Well, and, and when you've got a quarterback like that, it allows you to do many more intricate things offensively. McKinney, first down and more. Inside the 40 yard line near the 38. From the 39. Play action pass and they're bringing everybody. McCoy's looking all over the place for an open man. Uh, and it's intercepted uh -oh. by George Myra. Tackled at the 45-yard line, but a flag is down. A couple of linebackers and a man, a stand-up end. There's the offsides against the defense. First time we've really seen him force one in where he shouldn't have. Taylor. What a run. You see Taylor's numbers. He's Best of the year, 259 yards against Miami of Ohio. Get into a little tussle downfield of one of the defensive backs. At the 10-yard line. Taylor, high in the middle, bends to the seven. You know, block your defender somewhere and then let, let Taylor decide uh, where to run the ball. Well, he's done that on this drive. He has over 105 yards in the game. Right the middle this time. Spins away from one man. And it's to the three-yard line. They're down by 18. McCoy to throw. It's incomplete to Scott Packett. Thrown behind him from the three-yard line. On the quarterback draw, nothing there, and Miami is held. A terrific job by the Hurricane. Thinks uh, you can't even check off. Ice out to the five. 
the wrong way. Testaverde to the air. Completes the pass. First down. Mike Irvin. Extra seating here all along the end zones and sidelines. To watch number one Miami this evening. And the Hurricanes. Now get the ball out of the hole here. You're going to see them open up and try to make some things happen offensively. Second and seven. Highsmith, 25-yard line. Flips ahead to the 30. First down. And pounding them away. And Highsmith was the winner in that ball game at the end. The reverse to Perriman. Out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Brings out the play, and, and that's how you prevent a, a reverse from breaking for big yardage. Noble knocks out Perriman. Those are some magnificent statistics. Seven incompletions, 19 on the complete side. And he's trying for number 20 and gets it. Oh, well, he had it right there, and Warren Williams couldn't hold on. At 3.09, left in the third quarter. Plenty of time. Sellers was there. Pass completed to Highsmith. Gordon tried to make the tackle. 50-yard line is finally by Penn State. Vinny Testaverde, incomplete pass. The second on this series, the hash mark, came back about four or five yards to the pass. And gets it off barely. Steve Looney at the 24 with a fair catch, and he had room to run. Well, he had about 13 yards between Looney and the nearest defender. Taylor will try the middle. Squeezes for a couple. Fair catch needs seven. Barely enough time. Completes the pass. Joe Heiss across midfield. Testaverde. But Testaverde has a two under his TD numbers. And that's been the big difference. Dump off right side. Out of bounds. Scott Hackett at rushing. And if you're going to play in the ba offensive backfield for either one of these ball clubs, you have got to be able to catch the football. Reggie Taylor can run with it as well. Uh, but Cincinnati somehow is beating that. 34, McKinney to the 31. He could hardly pick it up on the replay. McCoy in trouble again. Completes the pass at the 19-yard line. Steve Sanders seems to throw better backing up, running sideways than he does. Just drop back and set. He has time now. This time, <laughs> throws the incompletion, although Mukes had it right. That is the final play of the third quarter will begin fourth quarter action with Miami leading Cincinnati 31 to 13 we'll be right back after these words well a touchdown that could have pulled them within four second and ten McCoy dumps it off it's intercepted by Myra and he has plenty of running room in front of him George Myra Jr. finally tackled by Reggie Taylor at the right time I'll tell you what, he showed a little bit of speed running that ball back, didn't he? Well, Dad George Myra taught him how to run. He was a fine, scrambling quarterback. Who would ever thought with these two offensive-minded football teams that we would play a full quarter and have no points scored? That's what we did in that third period. And here's Highsmith hurdling a man. Testaverde working with inside of 14 minutes left in the ball game, leading by 18. Highsmith, nothing there, tries the middle anyway, breaks free, and has himself real close to a first down. Second and three. Well, we'll call it second and one, rather. Nine yards. And he's got the first down here and more. Highsmith still carrying tacklers into the end zone for the Miami touchdown. His second of the ball game, his third of the year, by way of the rush, and Highsmith holding on to his left leg. That is trouble. Hopefully just a cramp. It is perfect. And the lead is 25. 38, 13. After these words. 13. And Miami has the lead. Their last touchdown supplied by a great pass interception by George Meyer and a fine run back. Al McKinney, who slides to the 21. But it's first and 10 at the 20 yard line for Danny McCoy. His numbers are good as he goes deep here, airing it out. And Stargo cannot hold on. How about Fullington? A little shove there on the end. McCoy going for the first down, incomplete. 
either. Uh uh. They won't get the first down. They're down 25 points in the in the fourth quarter, but that's what they chose to do on first down, and but that's what it forces you into. Kim Chai on the return after an excellent kick by Sean Burdick. Why they are? <laughs> that's a very tough. They have the 38 points. They've been averaging 39 this year. And Testaverde goes right back to the air to Michael Irvin, who is he's caught behind some people with outstanding ability. Miami needing one. Testaverde going for the home run, and Andre Brown is there, and he falls down inside the 25-yard line at the 22. I have ever been associated with. His dad, after the Oklahoma game, said, the Heisman is ours. It was meant for Vinny. Here is Darrell Oliver, who has run out of bounds about the 13-yard line. You know, I mean, they have got major, major injuries on this, on this ball club. A lot of starters, a lot of great players. They just come in with one right after the other. The other uh, people out from the defensive secondary. So take all those things into account and see what kind of success they're having, and it's rather remarkable. The touchdown runs, and Miami with a 25-point advantage here in the fourth quarter against the University of Cincinnati. For record purposes, the freshman 1926 club did not qualify for record consideration. They were just a club. Here's the completion. This is Lathan. Lathan breaks the tackle, and up by. And type of a thing begins to happen, and we're going to get a clip. Second down, Bearcats need 17. Dump off, McKinney. Not much there, and he does not get much. They run out of the pro set here. Pressure's on, and it comes from the big guy, Dan Stubbs, and he just takes Danny McCoy. And when they watch the game films, the Miami staff's going to be very pleased with the defensive backfield performance in this ball game. Verdict to the 12. Kintai going backwards. Still going backwards. And finally, uh -oh. finale. And finally bumped out an excellent return for Kintai. And they've been paced by the man engineering them still. That's Vinny Testaverde. And there's a breakaway back in J.C. Penny all the way up the field by the 45-yard line. He's a local guy from Youngstown, Ohio. Play action pass this time. Testaverde going for the home run. Andre Brown is there, but the pass is broken up at from the 41. Gordon on the blitz leaves his man out of the free. He makes the catches inside. Testaverde backing up again. Need seven. Looks to scramble. He's in trouble. Breaks free. Now he had the first down and now backs up and loses it. Tessa Verde had the first down at the... Seen a number of injuries for Miami in this ball game. There's the field goal try up. Did not get it. Throw it again. They've been shy three times by field goals. The leading Heisman Trophy candidate is limping on the sideline. And here comes the big guy Stubbs again for his third sack of the game by a half dozen. Stubbs is on the left side. This time, the running play to Reggie Taylor, and it is read beautifully. Bubba McDowell. He... Honorable mention, All-American last year. McCoy backing up. Incomplete. It will be fourth down. Burt has had a good night. And has this one blocked. Again, his second one that he has had blocked in the ball game. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line. See, he's got to scoop that up. He does a great job of... I'm not sure McDowell got it or if he just shanked it. I'll tell you what, from that angle, it looks like it went off the side of his foot, doesn't it? Whoa! Nice defense by Alex Gordon there. 36-yard line. This is Toretta. Completes the pass to Staffier, who breaks free again. Inside the 30-yard line. Still undefeated. If they win the Big Ten, of course, they'll go to the Rose Bowl. Got Alabama still undefeated. Well, they would be headed to the Sugar Bowl if they win. So, uh, uh, fortunately, the Miami fans have the luxury of, of looking that far down the road because this team should have assistance in tonight's telecast. Toretta back to throw, first of all, and completes the pass to the six-yard line. 
tight end right. J.C. Penny tries the middle into the end zone for the touchdown. So Miami breaks the 40-point barrier. I don't know what it is about these Miami running backs, but they they all have that same ability. They 185. It's 44 to 13. Make it 45 to 13. Miami continues to lead. The third time this year they have been over the 40-point barrier. 61 against Texas Tech. 58 against West Virginia. And tonight, 45 against Cincinnati. Back with more after this. Yes, the broadcast tonight. 45 to 13. Miami has the lead. And will hold on to their number one ranking yet another week. Al McKinney nearing the 30-yard line is dribble. Picked off a pass and raced it back to the 35, and Benny Testaverde took it in. Handing off to Alonzo Highsmith, who scored his second touchdown of the night. Al McKinney does not make it as far this time. Just a block punt. And before you know it, they've got 20. Miami has 21 points on the board. From there, they've played a very good ball game. Two weeks in a row against top-notch teams, they've played pretty well. McCoy completes the pass to Scott Hackett, and he is dragged down. Two years ago, this was this was the worst Division I-A football team in the country. Last year, they... Ball is at the 39-yard line, but they have rebounded this year. The record will be three and four after this loss. McKinney straight up the middle, running hard. This should be our last play of the game as Danny McCoy drops back to throw. He has 10 seconds in counting. Standing, standing, and still looking for an open target. It's incomplete, so we'll have one more try. Good thing you can say about this score is it's going to be easy for us to get out of the parking lot because <laughs> the crowd's gone. Yes, they are. <laughs> Here's McCoy sacked again. That is eight sacks in the ball game by Miami tonight, and they do it just the way they play the game. Jimmy Jones with the sack. Jimmy Johnson across the field. He'll shake the hand of Dave Curry. Game well played, but this baby's over. Miami, another win. Number seven on the year, 45 to 13.